Number three, when a slice of butter toast is accidentally pushed over the edge of a counter, it rotates as it falls. If the distance to the floor is 76 centimeters and for rotation less than one revolution, what are the letter A smallest and letter B largest angular speeds that cause the toast to hit and then topple to be butter side down? Okay, so let's suppose this is our counter here and this is our toast okay so initially the butter is upside I hope so so this is the butter blue butter so wow some sort of weird butter butter and this is our floor right so the first thing that we have to know is the time it takes to hit the floor so this is delta this is age which is equal to 76 centimeters which is equal to 0 0.76 meters and we can find the time it takes to hit the floor we can just use this equation over here so x is equal to xo plus vot plus at squared over 2 and in this case let's say that this position is h, this is zero, the initial speed is zero as well, so this goes away. The final position is h, so in the acceleration is the acceleration of gravity. So I'm doing this fast because you already know this. So this is two times h over g, and the square root of everything, and this is going to be the square root of two times zero point. 76 over 9.8 and this view gives us 0 0.394 seconds so that's the time that the toast is falling okay so let's analyze what happens when the toast hit the floor so we have some different options let's paint this green so it's easier to understand so it starts rotating, right? It is rotating like this. So if it hits the floor like this, so it starts like this. And if it hits the floor like this, then the butter will hit the the the, the butter will be pointing to to the floor, right? Because Actually, it should be a little bit more than this. It should be something like this. You see, just some degrees more. Okay, and if it if it rotates more, then we have this position over here, which is also the butter hitting the floor. And if it starts rotating more, again butter on the floor so this is butter on the floor as well and then we start to getting the butter pointing upwards okay so this is downside so let's say this downside 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 this is the limit for downside and this is upward okay so what we have to calculate here is the angular speeds that leads to this number, this angular displacement, and this angular displacement over here. So as you can see, let's put some arrows here so it's easier to track the movement. So let's put some arrow here pointing upwards in this. So the arrow is normal to the butter surface. So as you can see, initially it's pointing upwards and at this point it's pointing to the right so this over here is 90 degrees so the smallest angular speed that we can have is the one that it leads to 90 degrees of rotation and this one over there points to the left so for the second situation this is our arrows and this is the angle that we have, which is 270 degrees. 
Okay, so this is the angle for letter A, and this is the angle angle for letter B. Remember that is this is the limit because this is exactly like when the, the normal vector is parallel to the surface. So it should be a little bit more than that, like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1 more than that, and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1 less than this one. But anyway, let's just calculate the limit. Okay, so for letter A, let's remember that the angular speed is equal. Sorry, let me start over. So this is the angular displacement, which is equal to the angular speed times t. So the angular speed is equal to the displacement over t. And in our case, for letter A, this is 90 degrees. And 90 degrees is equal to pi over 2. So pi over 2 divided by this time here, 0 0.394. And this is equal to roughly 4 radians per second. And this is already the answer of this problem. As for letter B, we are going to do the same thing. However, in this case, the angle is not pi over 2, it's 3 pi over 2 divided by 0 0.394 and this will be roughly 12 radians per second. And that's it for problem number 3.